Yeah. Uh, he got curved, so he lost. So you're, you're not the president sign on COVID relief. What is the president agreeing to sign? The president will sign the McConnell proposal that he put forward yesterday, and uh, we look forward to making progress on that. Did you get to the Pelosi proposal? Did you get to the Pelosi proposal? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to publicly comment on it, but uh, I did speak to her briefly, and there's also a, the other, the bipartisan proposal. Are either of those up for consideration? Everything the Fed does is in service to our public mission. We're committed to using our full range of tools to support the economy and to help assure that the recovery from this difficult period will be as robust as possible on behalf of communities, families, and businesses across the country. Thank you. I, I just want to emphasize this was not a political decision. I was merely implementing the CARES Act. I'm happy to walk you, your staff, or other members of the committee through Section 4029, which makes it very clear. I find it implausible that any member of the committee believed in voting for the CARES Act that you are authorizing me to invest $500 billion in Federal Reserve facilities to make loans and purchase corporate bonds in perpetuity with no expiration date. But that is exactly what you would have to believe if you disagree with my interpretation of congressional intent on the issue. And since I was personally there and negotiated most of these documents, I am very familiar. But if Congress wants to extend this money for federal purposes for these facilities, Congress can add that to new legislation.